Hayastan is the traditional name given to the mountainous land surrounded by the rugged Caucasus known as Armenia. Its ancient roots date back to the end of the Bronze Age in Eastern Anatolia. During the 15th to 16th centuries, the Armenians became subject to the Ottomans. Often, Armenians were discriminated against and faced the unjust Sizye tax as religious minorities. Despite adversity, Armenian citizens managed to become successful contributors to society. The reversal in traditional social hierarchies worried the Muslim Turks, who responded with violence. Notable attacks against Armenian people were the Sastun massacres in 1894 and the infamous Hamidian massacres, lasting between 1894 and 1896. Following the Hamidian massacres, a radical constitutionalist party known as the Young Turks, led by Talat Pasha, overthrew the previous government. While many Armenians believed that this new government would offer them greater civil rights, Talat later became the main orchestrator of the Armenian Genocide. The Armenian Genocide began in April 1915 during World War I, after the Ottoman defeat at the Battle of Sari Kamush. This, expectedly, was blamed on Armenian Ottoman soldiers who were disarmed and murdered. Violence and hysteria spread throughout the empire, and influential Armenians, including priests, writers, and political figures, were executed. Soon after that, the Ottomans began rounding up men, women, and children from their villages without warning, sending them on death marches through the Syrian desert. These marches would lead to death camps, and Armenians were commonly shot on sight in their villages. An example of an Armenian genocide victim is Karnig Panyan, who recorded his experiences in his book, Goodbye Antura, through his daughter, Huri Biamian, who now works as the principal of St. Stephen's Armenian Elementary School. Karnig's story of the genocide can be told. <laughs> Azar in a harir remandas in Hingin Inca yev ir andanica inch pesnaev urish color higher iren shurchi derahan eram iren zuner and hambetsan yev tebi surio anabada gorgebetsa Inca and Jamara me and Hik Tarikanish yev suria Hassan Amai Anabadin Mech, Ir Maira, Ir Bezdik Kuira, Ir Bezdik Yehara, Polora Mahatsa. Yev Inkamanats Vor. While 1.5 million Armenians were killed as a result of the genocide, many Armenians within the Ottoman Empire joined forces in a final fight for the survival of themselves and their tradition. These Armenians carried out assassinations and led battles in defense of their homeland, ingraining a sense of resilience within the Armenian identity. Survivors established a diaspora with a new identity in a frontier marked by the tragedies of the genocide. Resilience is a defining trait central to the Armenian identity as we know it, stemming from the refusal to be literally and figuratively erased. The Armenian Revolutionary Federation was active in the Ottoman Empire starting in the 1890s, aiming to minimize the suffering of Armenians. Unfortunately, the consolidated power that the Young Turks had over the empire prevented the ARF from ending the slaughter through judicial or diplomatic means. As a result, the organization was forced to halt the Turkish ethnic cleansing campaign directly. Operation Nemesis was orchestrated by Shahan Natali to derail the methodically organized Armenian genocide. In Berlin, Germany, on March 15, 1921, Sogomon Tilirian shot and killed Talat Pasha. In the years that would follow, Ottoman officials, including Jamal Pasha and Said Halim, were killed. As a result, thousands of Armenian lives were saved. Another demonstration of equal valor was the civilian defense of Vaughan. An oppressive governor named Jedbet Bey, who despised Armenians, had jurisdiction over Vaughan. He waged terror upon Armenian settlements along the countryside, ordering the systematic killing of the Armenian people. Vaughan's Armenian superiors attempted to negotiate with Jedved. However, he refused, forcing Armenians to take charge and rebel in the streets of Vaughan. Armenians lacked weapons and training. However, they made up for it with resolve and ingenuity. 
While the men fought in the streets, women and children cooked food, delivered rations and ammunition, and treated the wounded. The Armenian resistance in Bonn, as well as Operation Nemesis, inspired many civilians to hold their ground and fight for their people. More so, it was made clear to the young Turks that the Armenians would not go down without a fight, and developed the Armenian identity as a whole by instilling a sense of resilience and pride in their spirit. While many risked their lives on battlegrounds such as Vaughn to avoid being severed from their homeland, thousands of Armenians found themselves displaced. These first-generation Armenian migrants in Syria, Lebanon, and Iraq found themselves not speaking the local language, often suffering from starvation and high unemployment. The American ambassador to the Ottoman Empire, Henry Morgenthau, said himself that if, and I quote, aid was not given to the Armenian refugees until they get established in their new surroundings, two-thirds or three-fourths of them will die of starvation and disease, end quote. Despite this, many Armenians prevailed, persevering through hardship and building successful lives for generations to come. Such perseverance defined the Armenian identity. Successful second-generation Armenians by the likes of French Charles Aznavour and American William Saroyan rose to great success in the countries where their families settled after fleeing for their lives from Armenia. For the broken families separated from their fathers at the mercy of the Ottoman government, resisting cultural extermination was a true test of the Armenian identity. In face of Turkification, this identity was forced to adapt to survive the Ottoman onslaught. In re-education camps disguised as orphanages, young Armenian children were forcibly de-Christianized and indoctrinated into Islam and Turkish culture. Orphanages such as Antura gave these children new Turkish names and they were prohibited from speaking Armenian. For the Ottomans, the solution to the so-called Armenian problem was the eradication of the culture. However, as Huri Buyamian reveals, young boys, including Karnik Panyan, undermined attempts at destroying their heritage. Uremen Antura vor Panotsu, Patsvazir, Turkatsunelo, my high vor pere. Pites, high vor pere, but he matre. Lurgamanan, Chenuzer sorvir, Turker and Lezo. Yev. Amen and Kambor Peranin Hairen Parmabuka Peranin Hairen Parmagelle Zets Fude. Objects such as the pomegranate and the forget me not flower became symbols of Armenian culture and were used to remember their roots amidst ceaseless Turkification. The efforts taken by Armenians to remain connected to their heritage and to resist being indoctrinated, planted perseverance within their identity, as well as a deeper reverence for their heritage. Despite having a tremendously negative impact on the Armenian people, the Armenian genocide forever changed the Armenian identity. In the face of total annihilation, Armenians were forced to become resilient. While Armenians three generations back were fighting seemingly unwinnable battles against Ottoman troops, Armenians today take to the streets to protest for recognition of the genocide. Today, the Armenian diaspora numbers around 5 million. However, the deep-rooted dedication to preserving their culture has lived on past the Armenians in the genocide. Since those tragic years, as a tribute to all who were slaughtered and persecuted, Armenians across the globe come together every year on April 24th to recognize the lives lost in the genocide. While the Republic of Armenia was able to gain its independence after the fall of the Soviet Union, the nation still faces many challenges today. Modern day Armenia has been struggling for decades to resolve land disputes since the time of the Ottoman Empire. One notable case was the Nogormo Karabakh conflict in 2020, in which Azerbaijan committed various war crimes against the Armenian people. One of which was the use of cluster munitions funded by Turkey. Nevertheless, while nations supposedly devoted to human rights have ignored the plight of Armenians, past and present, the Armenian people have demonstrated throughout history that there is no obstacle too great to overcome. 